Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home automation with me, your host, Paul Hibbert. What's up, YouTube? No, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not an American. Um, I'm English, so I'll say, uh, how the devil are you? Uh, I'm fine, thanks for asking. Uh, so the last video I did got just over 700 hits in less than 24 hours, and that's insane. So that taught me something. Uh, make more Alexa videos. So this is another Alexa video. Uh, in the last video, I showed you how to control the um, Broadlink RM Pro, or Pro 2, using your voice via Alexa. Uh, this means that you can control RF and infrared uh, applications very, very cheaply. Uh, it's about £30 for an RM Pro now. Um, so anyway, off the back of that video, what I thought I'd do was to take it another step further uh, and set it up to control my Virgin Box. Um, very, very simple to do. Uh, so again, if you haven't seen the last video, go check it out because it will show you how to do this. Uh, although what I will do is I'll give you a quick tutorial at the end of this anyway because it's very quick to set up and very quick to create a tutorial, hopefully. Um, so without further ado, here is me controlling my Virgin Box. Alexa, turn Virgin on. Okay. Alexa, turn BBC One on. Okay. Alexa, turn Dave on. Okay. Alexa, turn E4 on. Okay. Alexa, turn Gems TV on. Okay. Alexa, turn Virgin off. Okay. Alexa, turn Xbox on. Okay. Alexa, turn Xbox off. Okay. So how you'll do this? You do this very simply. You need an RM Pro if you don't have one already. So I'm just going to take this opportunity to talk about a couple of things. The first is the difference between the RM Pro and the RM Pro 2 because people have been asking me what's the difference. Uh, the answer is nothing. So basically, I think Broadlink decided to drop the two from the marketing material as they've re-released their product. It's actually the same device as I've got. They've just not put the two on the end of the name. Uh, the next question was, what is the difference between the RM Pro and RM Home? Because they're both out on the market at the moment. The RM Pro is capable of infrared and uh, RF, and the RM Home is only capable of infrared. Uh, and the final point of note is that the latest devices uh, that are being shipped, uh, we are finding are coming with firmware that doesn't support the RM plugin that I've been using uh, in my last video and in this video, which means that you won't be able to do any of this stuff if you've got one of the latest devices until you update the firmware. So I've uh, had a good report from a reliable source to say that if you update the firmware on the latest RM Pro, then the RM plugin that I'm advertising in these videos does actually work. So anyway, the eControl app, uh, we're going to open up. Uh, you'll find that you've either got nothing in here if you're starting from scratch. If you've got nothing, you might want to see my previous video because I teach you how to set this up. And also, very cool, teach you how to get Alexa to control all of these things. Um, so you'll probably have some stuff in here already. I've created the Virgin remote just to quickly give you an overview. Basically, I put a remote in here, I pressed the power button, and it said, I don't know how to do that. Uh, teach me how to do that. And then I pressed the button on my physical remote in the real world, and it learned how to do that. I did that for each of the buttons for the Virgin remote, and I did that for a few of the buttons in my amp. So now we're going to create a macro. So I've already created a Virgin channels remote, and in here I'm now going to add Sky1. Uh, so I click the plus. I'm going to choose an icon from my picture gallery. I'm going to choose the Sky One logo. I'm going to call it Sky One. Save. So I now have a very pretty icon called Sky One. Clicking on it, of course, does nothing because it doesn't know what to do yet. And it does exactly what I was just describing. It says, teach it to me. 
So you can now click learn single if there was just one button you wanted to press or learn combination if you want it to do lots of different things. Uh, so we want it to do a few things, so we're going to choose learn combination. Um, and I can either learn a new button, which will let me just press a button on my remote for it to learn it, or I can choose a learned button. I don't have my remote to hand, so I'm going to choose a learned button, being as it already knows how to do these things. And I'm going to choose amp, and I'm going to choose virgin box, because I want it to switch the amp to the virgin box. Then click plus, uh, choose a learned button from the virgin remote, dial 1. Click the plus, choose a learned button from the virgin remote, dial 0. Plus, learned button, virgin remote, 9. Save. So I now have a Sky 1 button on my remote, and clicking that Sky 1 button will carry out the functions I've just created. And clicking that button does exactly that. So that's awesome in itself already. Uh, what I wanted though, um, when I first set all this up myself, was I wanted a widget on my desktop so I could just click um, on my main screen a Sky 1 button and load up Sky 1. Um, so in order to do that, I downloaded the RM plugin, and that's how I first got to grips with it before I even realized it could do Alexa stuff. Um, and so we're going to do that now. So the first thing we need to do is we need to share uh, the new command that I've just created with the RM plugin. So I'm going to go to share, and then share to other phones in WLAN, and then I'm going to open up the RM plugin app, and the RM plugin app should, there we go, import data. So it did it very quickly there. It imported the data uh, from the eControl app. So I can now create a widget. So I'm going to go back to my desktop, long press anywhere on my home screen to create a new widget. I'm going to find the RM plugin. I'm going to drag that to my desktop. Create. Uh, and I want to choose a sexier icon again. So I'm going to click that little icon in the top left. Choose from my gallery the Sky One logo. Um, and then it asks me, do I want to select a code or learn a new code? I'm going to select a code because I have just spent the time to teach it to it. So the reason I tend to do this is because I like to be able to use the eControl app as well as use the um, plugin from the desktop as well as use Alexa. So I tend to, to teach everything in the eControl app first and then select it from here. So I'm going to select the code and we're going to choose Virgin Sky One. There it is. OK, I can then test the selected code if I want to, to make sure it's doing what I want it to, and then save it. And then awesome, I have a Sky1 widget, and clicking the Sky1 widget uh, does the uh, macro that I've just created in the eControl app. So that's absolutely awesome, um, but if we want to go one step further, we can now teach Alexa to do it. So we can go to the uh, RM plugin. Go to Alexa device list, add Alexa device. You can see I've got a load of stuff in here already. This is all the stuff I've taught Alexa previously. So add Alexa device. Device name will be uh, Sky1. Okay. The on command, I'm going to, um, this might be a bit confusing. So I'm actually going to choose single device because I created the macro uh, under the eControl app as a single device. So I'm actually going to choose single device. Selected code, and then again, I'm going to choose Virgin Sky 1, OK, and then save, and then save again. Asks me if I want to copy the on command to the off command. So if I now say to Alexa, switch Sky 1 off, she won't know what to do unless it's got something in here. So I'm going to just put the same command in again. Um, this can be helpful if she mishears the word on for off and off for on. Whichever one she hears, she's going to load up Sky 1. So that's cool. So I'm going to save that. So it's now saved Sky 1 to my Alexa device list. Um, and as long as the RM plugin is broadcasting to Alexa, which if you see my previous video for full instructions, you will have already done, uh, you just need to click this little tick box here, Alexa Bridge and then enable Alexa Bridge and auto start on boot. Um, now, whenever you ask Alexa to scan for new devices, she will find whatever is being advertised by the RM Tasker plugin. And one of the things being advertised by the RM Tasker plugin now is Sky One. Um, and so once Alexa scans for devices, 
uh, she'll find Sky One, and then the next time you say to Alexa, switch Sky One on, it will perform the macro that I've just shown you. Awesome, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, and if you haven't, uh, it's probably because you didn't watch the previous video and this has confused you. Go watch both videos, uh, give me more hits, uh, like me and subscribe to me and I will feel much better about everything in my life. Um, love you all lots and I'll see you next time.